Okay, let's have a look at our settings. So go up to options and click sound settings. Make sure your input and output has the correct uh, driver selected. Once you've done that, we're back up to options and we're going to interface controls and we're making sure we have the correct COM port select for your radio, the right radio model, as well as the, the PTT options. And once you're happy with that, if you click test PTT or uh, start PTT test, you'll get the red bar and that way you know your radio is actually transmitting. Okay, you go from our normal mode, QSO mode, um, to our fully automated sequence mode, we need to go to options, scroll down to other options and then select multi-answering auto sequence which is three up from the bottom. So select that. At the bottom right hand corner you can select how many times you want to work the same station, put a limit on it, two or three. You can put the, um, if you want to reply to the longest st station. So find a spot up the top double click it in the waterfall and then click auto is on and that way you will be able to start calling CQ. Now this is a fully automated system now, as soon as you click auto is on you can see the frequency control the left hand side is green and you can see auto is on and that's red. Um, at the top you can also move the width of your filters in by just clicking on the edge and dragging it across, that will be your full width of where you want to receive a signal. Um, if you notice you've got LTR is ticked here, if you untick it, it means that you can receive on a particular slot or a particular frequency and your transmitting frequency stays where it is. If you have LTR ticked, then both transmit and receive frequency jump to the same slot. Again, just open up the width of the filter and uh, let's start calling CQ. Now this is fully automated. Um, once you press uh, auto is on, it will start filling through um, the, the, the other stations calling you. You can also put a queue, a queue limit, so if there's three or four stations calling you, you can put a, a limit on how many people you're allowed or you're permitting to actually sit in a queue in order to reply. And you can also see max time, I've got two minutes, that's two minutes I'm allowing to transmit to the one station. If I don't get a decode, it'll call CQ and move on. So here we go, we've got a reply. So again, this is fully automated. Um, the station sent their locator and I have um, replied back. And again, just like most software, you can clear the window to the left and to the right using the clear message or um, clear uh, RX frequency message, which is the window to the right. You just click on those. So here we go. Got a reply. I'm now sending RR73 and that will automatically um, go into the log as well so we don't even need to log it, it will do that um, fully automated. And once we reply here, I'll just show you, we'll, um, we'll go into the log and I'll, I'll show you that QSO and, and where it's saved and where you can find the log. There we go, 73, so I'm calling CQ again. So we go up to file and we click go to view log and here you can see the QSO, there's the very bottom one which is the one that the QSO have just made. If you go to menu, you can select export all or you can, there's various options in there. Um, you can create a new log, so you can play about with that. But that's it, fully automated for you, your FT8 frequencies. Give that a go, enjoy MSHV.